Hi everybody, Monty Craftsman here. Uh, cold weather's here, been here for a while, I'm tired of it. Uh, I'm roaming around the shop kind of looking for a project to do. Uh, I just finished a project by uh, Tom Griffin. He made a, uh, a knurling tool and this is a very good project and I really enjoyed making it but I finished it. Uh, I'll go ahead and show it to you too. Uh, but now I'm looking for another project. And it seems to be a lot of people out there that have lathes and milling machines that make um, steam engines and other type of sterling engines. And these look very complicated. They look like they're way over my head. But I'm going to attempt one. Uh, I downloaded some free plans off the internet and having never made one and never seen one uh, I have a feeling that I might be throwing away a little raw material from screw ups but it, it doesn't really matter um, I'm kind of looking forward to actually attempting something like this and I'm going to go ahead and start recording it even though I'm not sure I'm going to actually be able to finish it or not. Uh, I can always just erase the videos. So uh, that is where I'm going to go. I'm going to attempt to build a uh, steam engine that I have downloaded free plans off of the internet. And that is going to be this project. So, but until then, uh, right now I want to show you this uh, uh, device that Tom has des built and designed and uh, that I downloaded the plans off of his website and uh, it's a very good project really and I would like to share it with everybody. Uh, I know a few other people have made it and I just thought I'd show it off. Okay, this is my knurling tool. I have built from uh, Tom Technique, Tom Griffin, uh, from the plans off of his uh, website. Uh, I modified mine a little bit. The uh, This piece here is supposed to be aluminum, but I did not have any aluminum, so mine's built out of steel. Uh, I actually made these end screws since I didn't have enough to had enough thread on them to to push these slides way in and I wasn't real sure why I might uh, be knurling some real small material so um, I made these out of aluminum and I knurled the ends of them out of another knurler that I had so yeah and they work great and uh, my knurls, I could not find the right size knurls that he made this for that would slide up in there. Mine are bigger, but they still leave me enough that I can knurl a piece of round stock a little bit better than an inch. And so far I have never knurled anything that big, so I think I'll be okay. And I have other knurlers also, but I, I wanted to make this one for the fun of making it. Uh, <laughs> as far as fun goes, one of my very first screw ups, I made everything and I started to drill these holes. And I had misread the plan. I thought these was tapped. And I drilled the holes and I tapped the very first one and broke the tap. Now, uh, for those of you that have broke taps, you know that a broke tap is no fun. Uh, I got it out by using a, a carbide glass drill. I didn't have any carbide end mills. I have ordered a couple of small ones so that I'll be prepared for the next broken tap. But I did take the uh, small glass drills, which are 
carbide kind of a flat piece on the end and I was able to bore and get most of it out and I bored a hole that was about a half inch in diameter and I forced in a piece of uh, aluminum round stock and then welded it in place on both sides and milled it back flat again and then that was when I noticed it it wasn't supposed to be tapped anyway that's supposed to be a through hole and the taps are here on these plates so you know it's kind of a double bozo <laughs> but anyway we got her out we saved the piece uh, it works perfect and not too many screw ups really other than that it's a fairly simple design it works real good uh, I have narrow a couple of pieces just testing it out uh, I like it I probably won't ever use it much but I like it and it was a good project so if somebody's looking for a good project this is one on Tom's technique you go to his website and uh, download his plans and he's also got videos on how he does most of it uh, I kind of did most of it my own way but uh, here it is. It's a very good project.